Hey guys, even here and you're watching Arnold Classic UK and what can I say about this show? Arguably the best show of the year so far, maybe after Arnold Classic Ohio. Let's get into it, let's just get started with Andrew Jacked posing routine. First I'm gonna check out these posing routines of some of the guys and then we're gonna check out the comparisons and I'm gonna tell you what I think who's going to win. So here you can see Andrew Jacked. In my opinion, he looks a little bit leaner than he was at the Texas. A little bit, not too much, but his glutes do look more dialed in, check them out, so his glutes are a little bit sharper, his back, also his lower back looks drier, but maybe he looks a little bit flatter, a little bit smaller, and overall I would have to say a little bit less impressive, especially in this lineup, in the in the one in Texas against Steve Kuklo and Martin, and the other guys, he was dominating, he was killing it, however, this time around, he's not exactly doing that, he's probably going to win still, I shouldn't say probably, he is going to win, he's definitely the best here, no doubt, you're gonna see it in a second, but he's not exactly destroying everybody, because the other guys are really massive, and I really like what James Hollins had brought, I'm gonna show you him in a second, he, uh, James is like 275, and from what I heard, Andrew is 10 pounds lighter than what he was at Texas, so 5 pounds difference, and a lot of difference in height, so James is definitely a much better bodybuilder than Andrew, you're gonna see it in a second, as for now you can see, Andrew looks amazing, and one of my followers from IG, Paul from UK, sent me a couple of videos which I'm gonna show you as well, and he says that Andrew Jack in person looks ridiculous. Look at James, James was dry, 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 look at the glutes, look at the hamstrings, and freaking big and round, this was never the case before, he was never this massive, at 270 freaking 4 pounds, he looks massive, way bigger, way better than last year's Mr. Olympia edition, so finally this is going to be his last look, as they say, you're only as good as your last show, and last show for James was Mr. Olympia until now, and now we're gonna remember him as this, and this looks really impressive, yeah, I'm a little bit biased towards James, because I'm a fan of him, I follow him on IG, I'm a fan of Fuad Abiyad's podcast, there is that, I'm a little bit emotional, I want to see him do well, because I know him as a person, but I do like what I see, especially in the comparison, you're gonna see that in a moment, you're gonna see how big he actually is, and he is freaking massive, especially that thickness, chest to back thickness, nobody has that kind of thickness, nobody, and nobody has thick glutes like him, and dry glutes like that, he's just insane. This guy, Patrick Johnson, probably the biggest surprise for me personally. Now, I thought he was gonna do well, but I had him, like, potentially placing fifth after the top four, you know, Andrew Jack, James Collins, he had Martin Fitzwater, and then Mark Hector, who I'm gonna show you in a second, and then I thought maybe Patrick Jones is going to be there in fifth, but apparently, based on the way the judges are moving these guys, and based on the way he looks, like, right here, I mean, you can see he looks amazing, he could end up being second. Yeah, it looks like he's kind of pushing Andrew Jack even. So this is definitely the biggest surprise of the show. This guy is a monster. He has crazy dryness and crazy fullness and roundness. He has really good muscle bellies. Look at the legs. He has pretty much everything. This guy looks really good. Uh, definitely the biggest surprise of this show. Martin Fitzwater definitely brought it. I think he was even more conditioned than uh, Texas, and he was probably just overall better. He was harder. He was... Uh, I mean, how much can you improve from, from one show? to another in a couple of weeks, but actually you can, if you were saving yourself for, for another show, like maybe he wasn't doing a, lo a lot of like orals, maybe he wasn't pushing the dosages, and then he upped everything, and maybe went a little bit harder with the diet, so he improved, he definitely improved, he looked better here, however, I don't think he's going to do that well against these guys, because they are all mass monsters, you know, he has Andrew Jack, who's like 280, James, who's like 275, Patrick Johnson, I don't know the weight, but he's also a big, big guy, so I don't think Martin is gonna do that well, but he's definitely in the top four, you're gonna see that in a second, he's definitely in the top four. Patrick Johnson is the biggest surprise, but this is probably the biggest disappointment, Mark Hector, a lot of people had this guy winning, and the ones that didn't were not sure about his legs, however, his legs actually look great, his legs look good, they don't look small, but he was soft, soft, he was not conditioned, uh, his back was really smooth, and also his abs, everything was just really smooth, he spilled over probably, they were probably carving him up too much, or it, something was wrong with water, 
water, I don't know, but he's just watery, he's just blurred, uh, he didn't look super conditioned, uh, definitely, you cannot see it maybe here, here he actually looks pretty dry, but compared to the others, you will see that in a second, you will see how, how soft he actually is, and because of that, he is not going to be in the top 4, top 6, probably yeah, top 4, no. This, however, is going to be your top four, as you can see, Martin Fitzwater, James Hollingshead, Patrick Johnson, and of course, Andrew Jack. So in my opinion, it's probably going to be Andrew first, second, I think I have Patrick Johnson in third, I would have to say James, because he's just that big, but if it was just based on conditioning, it would be Martin. So as you can see, I'm not so sure who's going to place where, this is probably the way I would go. Personally, I would go with James in second. I would have him over Patrick, just because he's that freaking large, but based on the way the judges are moving these guys, this will probably be the outcome. Look at James' glutes, look at the hardness, like he was really hard, really dry, and definitely the biggest, the thickest guy here. Here is what top 6 looked like before the top 4, before they got rid of Jamie, Johal and Mark Hector. As you can see, Jamie really brought it, definitely a much much better package than Italy Yamamoto Pro Show, much better conditioning, he is really really tall, he really stands out, and I think he can actually be in top 6 here, we'll see, maybe Max Charles is going to edge him out, maybe somebody else, but I think he's top 6, and Mark Hector, as you can see, legs were not a problem, legs are definitely not an issue, he definitely improved those legs, I was really surprised when I saw his legs, I thought he was gonna have really small legs compared to these guys, but no, his legs were fine, it was the problem of conditioning, you know, he was kind of smooth, soft, and his back is just much weaker than most of these guys here, but Martin's back is really something special, Andrew Jacked, I was honestly kind of a little bit disappointed, I thought he was gonna be better, because him and his coach George Farah were saying he was he was like 80% at Texas, so what is this now, honestly I think this is like 75%, I think he's a couple of percent worse than Texas, I think he was a little bit smaller, not as full, a little bit flatter, and also maybe a little bit more conditioned, but he didn't have that pop like he did at Texas, maybe it's just a matter of lineup, maybe these guys are just much better, better than those in Texas, and that's why he doesn't seem that impressive, but I don't think that's the case, I think he was just a little bit worse, however, it's enough, I think it's good enough for him to win, but based on what I'm seeing right here, I can be pretty sure that Andrew Jack is not gonna be top 6 at the Mr. Olympia, no, I don't see him doing that, top 10 at the Mr. Olympia, somewhere around there, sure, like top 8 potentially, but I don't see him higher than that at the Mr. Olympia, based on the way he's looking right here, James Holland said, I was, I was really happy when I saw him, I was afraid he's not gonna look that good because he was doing this whole prep alone, peak week included, but he actually did a really good job, really good job, and from now on, I don't think he's gonna need a coach, I think he actually knows his body really well, we were not sure, this was an experiment that went right, I don't think he's going to win the show, in my opinion, he should be somewhere in like top 2, top 3, maybe even second, but I think he's way more likely to be third or fourth than to be second, because the way the judges are moving these guys, I think they have Patrick in second, and I think that's right, I think that's how it should be, but I would love to see James in second, <laughs> I don't know, whatever you guys think though about this show, how did you like it, uh, who do you think is going to win, where do you have these guys placing, tell me your top 6, tell me your top 6 in order, where do you have James, where do you have Martin, what do you think about Mark Hector's conditioning, I'm honestly really curious to hear what people have to say, because I saw zero comments so far, as soon as the live streams were over, I started making this video, so I don't know what people think, so guys, please do me a favor, take two minutes and write a comment, tell me your opinion, give me your top six in order, whatever you want to say, please comment down below, thank you so much guys for watching, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and subscribe for more videos like this, thank you so much guys for watching, all the best, and bye bye.